हे गाइस हेलो दिस इज सिद्धार्थ एंड वेलकम बैक टू पेन एंड पेपर्स टुडे आई एम बैक विथ अ डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ रिव्यू टुडे वी विल बी रिव्यूइंग अ पेपर इट्स अ पेपर ब्रांड कॉल्ड आयुष पेपर एंड आयुष पेपर मेक्स डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ नोटबुक्स एंड मोस्ट ऑफ देम आर फाउंटेन पेन फ्रेंडली आयुष पेन ऑल्सो आयुष पेपर ऑल्सो मेक्स नोटबुक्स फॉर स्केचिंग एंड ड्रॉइंग but since our scope of video is only limited to fountain pens i'll be covering these many inks on ayush paper so since it's not possible to cover all the inks i have on this paper uh, these are sort of a representation of all those inks that those i have so uh, this is delta ink this is Uh, this is Siahi Fractal Blue. Then this is Krishna Writer's Night. Then this is Diamond Aurora Borealis. This is Hiroshi Zuku Shinkai. This is Rohrer and Klinger Klinger's Alt Gold Grung. and we may as well cover one more krishna ink that is this dark chocolate so let's get started so ayush paper makes various kinds of notebooks and in uh, different patterns so i'll cover the notebooks which i have the owner of this Uh, paper company is very good friend of mine and he is always open to suggestions and other things so this is there is small pocket notebook and let's see what ayush paper stands for so is written your fountain pen will love this paper since it is very fountain pen friendly this is their tagline reasons why you will love this it has natural shade paper slightly creamish color paper no feathering no bleeding handles flex flex nibs well uh, since we will be using a glass dip pen uh, this will pretty much take care of this part uh, shows sheen of uh, sheen inks moderate drying time minimal show through both sides are completely usable and uh, uh since this is a line notebook it has line gap of 9 mm which is pretty wide e even if you have broader uh, writing style it will cover that uh, the paper here is 100 gsm so it's a thick paper so it's a thick paper as you can see probably the thickness is good so there is the show through won't be much it has this texture i think you will be able to see yes so it's slightly textured paper which gives you a bit of feedback when you are writing it's not as smooth as tomoe river so this is their small pocket notebook this is the line version this is their dot grid pocket notebook wire bound binding this as and it has 50 sheets so 100 pages both sides so it's good for taking notes and other things quickly if you want to jot down something then you can use this particular pocket notebook i usually carry this with me wherever i go it's always there in my bag uh, then this is their bigger size notebook this is their a5 size notepad again it has very minimal cover minimalistic cover it has ayush paper trademark and this beautiful quilt design over it nothing on the back if you scan this uh, logo probably it will direct you to their uh, website which is www.ayushpaper.com uh this paper is also available with uh, major online sellers 
uh, and uh, Ayush Paper also has their own website. In if you, if you are in India, you can buy it directly from here. And uh, I guess in USA they have Curl Pens uh, as a distributor. So let's get uh, back to the ink testing. Before we go to the ink testing part, uh, recently I purchased a very nice notebook from Ayush Paper, which is. Uh, synthetic leather it has synthetic leather cover uh, slightly bigger in size uh, let me show you that so for size comparison as you can see this is a pocket notebook and it's uh, it's somewhat bigger than the a5 size this is b6 size so it's so it's slightly bigger than a5 and uh, uh, smaller than Ace, uh, A4 size. This has nice leather cover, leatherette cover, not leather cover. Synthetic leather. This is and uh, this. The best part about this diary or notebook is you can get a customized print over this. So this is their generic notebook, generically printed. But you can get your name printed or whatever you want to get printed over it. You can get it, get it printed on this part. Uh, I spoke with the owner, Mr. Ayush Surana, and he told me that you can also get this uh, laser etched uh, letters or anything on this fine part of this notebook as well. Uh, this has a slightly smaller uh, line width than the narrow narrower lines here. Uh, it's good for journaling or for other purposes wherever you use the diary. I usually use it for my official uh, note taking or appointment writing and other things. Uh, this one again has the same paper. Uh, the paper quality is slightly better than the uh, dot grid paper that I have. That's, that's what my take is. But pro paper is probably the same. It's just the line uh, line width difference. Ayush paper is written on back. Again, very minimalistic design and customizable. That's the best part. And it has 100 sheets. So uh, 100 sheets, that means 200 sides, sides. So you can use that. You can use them for almost even if you use one or two pages a day then the notebook probably will last you for i don't know three months to half an year so that's about it now let's jump to the ink testing on this particular paper so let's start with <coughs> roller fingers sorry <coughs> alcohol pen this is a glass pen i'm going to use The paper is slightly absorbent, more absorbent than if you're used to Tomoe River or other premium papers, then this is a slightly absorbent paper. Mm. Ink is horror and clinger. gold gran now this is one wing we have laid down here let's check so this ink doesn't have any sheen or anything on other papers as well it is green shared with this yellow green and yellow shared with golden it's since it's written with a glass pen the drying time will be slightly higher but otherwise it's very very fast 
if you compare it with Tomoe River, it's exceptional. The drying time on this paper is exceptional. Now let's check if I've already tried some other inks as well that will come back to again at the end of this video. So this is Ye. There's no sheen, but the sheen in general, this ink doesn't have any sheen. Now let's try on this side. Now the next, let me clean my plastic pen. Though I'm using the same pen in different different things, I don't want to contaminate them. So I need to clean it before I put it in another, another ink. The next thing we'll go try is Krishna dark chocolate. This ink I usually don't put in any of my pens because this has this mm, this deposits it forms deposits on the nib and other parts so as you can see but since it's a glass pen let's try it This is Delta Sepia. Again, the third ink I want to try. is diamonds aurora borealis so diamond makes some really good fountain pen friendly inks uh, these inks are very easy to clean and available at very affordable rate so this is slightly blue black version of their um, ink uh, this is sort of black current kind of color aurora Borealis, the company is Diamine. The next ink color we will try is, all of these are well behaved inks. I don't have any particular ink which doesn't behave well in the pen except the Krishna dark chocolate, which I just showed. This one. Now the other color is Krishna Writer's Night. This is a good ink by Krishna again. So some of their inks are good and some of them are not so good. This is a beautiful color. Blue black color but Since this glass pen lays down so much of ink, it's very difficult to see the actual color. But I'm just trying to show you the kind of uh, ink bearing capacity this paper has. Even if I'm laying down so much of ink, it won't see there is no blade through. The paper has taken everything up. The drying is still going on, it's, it, it still has not dried and the paper is holding the ink really really well. As you can see, there's no feathering, no ghosting, nothing. So this paper handles all inks really well. I'm just showing you a few of them. Now let's try Hiroshi Juku Shinkai. Hiroshizuku is a pilot company's ink brand. They make some really good inks. And they have wide range of inks. All of these inks are exceptionally well behaved. 
and this is one of my favorite ink this is my go to blue black ink wet e iroshizuku shinkai very wet never close your pen and no matter what paper you are using i mean as far as you are using a better paper it will just behave perfectly well now the other thing that i want to show you is this is the last one from the lot and it's siahi fractal blue this is an indian company i recently came across it and it makes some really good inks i have their uh black ink this is the blue one i also have their red one we'll try that as well but first first let's get started with this it's a simple blue color ink writes very well on any paper slightly wet yahi ink and the name of the ink is fractal blue since i have this uh, sahi red color lying on my table we'll try that as well and then we'll conclude the video so whenever you are trying any ink with the glass dip pen always make sure that you clean it properly otherwise there's you might contaminate the ink that you are trying the and eventually there will be some mold building or the ink won't be usable so the last thing we are going to try is this siahi red this this came as a free sample from sahi and came in this beautiful small uh, a red sampling bottle this is a glass bottle clean glass bottle and it has taken this red color because of the ink if 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 i just have to show you the size comparison then this is that 20 ml bottle and this is a small i guess 2 ml sample so let's try this ink now this is their i guess blood red yes is their blood red ink beautiful color now since we have tried all the ink samples that we have here uh let's conclude this video uh as you can see the paper has handled all the things exceptionally well some of them are still wet but that is because of the glass paper if i use the same ink in my any of my paper any of my pens uh, it will immediately dry for example let's try this pen uh, this is shifa no nonsense and it is inked with tachia 
dark navy glass depends usually lay down a lot of lot of ink so it takes a time some time for them to dry but just look at this tachia ink it's i just wrote with it and it's almost dry here so it's a slightly absorbent paper all the ink properties are shown pretty nicely here uh, this paper may not uh, show the exceptional cleaning effect that the normal tomoe river or other paper shows but for your daily writing this is an excellent paper uh, you you get some cleaning effect but uh, tomoe river and other paper since they are coated they you have exceptional cleaning effect on them uh, this is not a coated paper but it handles all kind of things really well there's no feathering or uh, no blade through this is because the ink is still wet but nothing has come on the side of the paper so it is not the blade through part so all in all i like this uh, paper very much i use it um, for my daily use for for my office notes uh, for my quick notes everything so this is one of the best papers i have and i wanted to review this for a long time now and so i decided to review it today thank you for your support and uh, your views your likes if you like this video please like share and subscribe if you like this video then uh, the youtube algorithm promotes this video and uh, more people will be able to see this video and it will also encourage me to make uh, more such videos your suggestions your recommendations uh and uh, your queries are always welcome i'll be more than happy to help you any time i'll also drop my instagram and telegram channels link in the description section and if you want to connect with me you can connect with me there thank you so so much so if you want to get this notebook you can connect with ayush paper thank you so much stay well and have a nice day thank you